I would be standing here before you, all of you, my dear family and my friends, right here in Israel. What I feel in my heart right now, I cannot even describe to you. It's filled with joy and praise for each and every one of you. Last night, before we sat down to share a wonderful beginning of a Shabbat, of Shabbat at Manny's and Ruthie's home, the door opened and I could not believe who I saw. I thought it was a dream, but eventually I realized it really was my young son, Milton. Have you known him for 56 years? <laughs> <laughs> the joy and excitement I experienced is beyond description. To have him here with me at this special time it is a special blessing, Milton. So it is my real pleasure and privilege to greet you all here tonight and thank you for helping me celebrate my big milestone birthday. I've been blessed with, one, with a wonderful family. My children, grandchildren and great-grandchildren have made my life complete and no words can express my feelings and my deep love for them. Of course, life has not been especially easy the first two and a half decades of my life. It was a very hard and bumpy road, and that saying the least. But the joy and the fulfillment I experienced following the sad period helped to heal the previous pain and my sorrow. Life had to go on, live life to the fullest, that was my motto, and still is. I love life and all that it stands for. I chose my profession because I always wanted to alleviate pain and suffering and help the people to make them feel better. Shalom Bayit, family unity and togetherness has meant everything to me and I still continue to strive for it. I'm extremely proud of my children and my grandchildren's achievement. Naches is a true elixir of life and I can thankfully say I had and still have lots of it. My many true friends, loving friends, have enhanced my life and I'm very grateful for that. I've experienced the blessings of an extended family and my, my great-grandchildren are the jewels in my crown. Last but not least, my love for Israel and the importance of the survival of our nation has always been central, a central point in my life. And it has always added tremendous meaning. And now I have a list of thank yous, beginning with my very wonderful uh, um, nephew. I, I begin with my wonderful niece and nephew that have come all the way from London to be with us tonight, Lucille. I can't thank you enough and Joe for being here on time. 
because you didn't want to come that early. Uh, you were coming much later in the, in the month, but you came because of me, and I'm grateful for that. <coughs> Dora, my lifelong friend, Dora, and Denise, that came all the way from South Africa to be here. Frida, and I even put in Hillel and Jennifer. All of them were South Africans before and long-time friends of mine. My beloved great grand nephew Lawrence and his wife Denise and his beautiful little daughter. And my heartfelt thanks go to my Israeli family, all of you and to their children and to their grandchildren for being here tonight to celebrate with me. A very big and special thank you again to Tzviya and Igal for all the hard work they have done and for being such wonderful hosts, for, a, for opening their home and their heart to make me comfortable and happy. To Manny and Ruthie, thank you for your wonderful hospitality and love. I always felt welcome in your home and it's greatly appreciated. To Hannah and David, big to Daraba for all the things you have done for me in the past and for your friendship. And thank you all for being here, for making it extremely pleasurable and unforgettable. And I wish you well. And I will finish by saying Lehitro. <laughs> My country, right or wrong. Finally, when it comes to Israel, it's my country, right or right. There couldn't be any wrong. And if I'm trying to say, here's something, that, shush! And you can't say that. That's Israel, and they're always right. I laugh, Fanny, and I mean it. And I wish you well. Now, in behalf of Sia, although we didn't discuss it, but I think we'll manage, I want to invite everybody. We'll see you before that, but a hundred year celebration will be here for free. Okay. Yay. Without telling some kind of 
story of a joke, right? Yes, yes. that's you. So I'll tell you a story about the Hadassah when they had a convention once that's in Miami. I mean. So a lot of Hadassah women came to Miami and two women went on the wrong bus. And instead of ending up in a convention, they ended up in Hialeah, which is a very famous horse race. <laughs> so one says to the other, you know, if we're already here, we might as well bet. So that says, how do you bet? So I don't know, let's go in and we'll ask. And they went in and they told them you have to put money on the horse. So each one put five dollars, and of course, nothing happened. And then they boarded the right bus. So one woman says to the other, you know something? It's a good thing that we didn't win. Says, why is that? Says, if we won, what will we do with the house? <laughs> <laughs> so that's, when I tell you to Adassa, it says, not Adassa, it was Vizzo. Oh, no. Right. What Adassa said that Vizzo is the abbreviation of Vizzo, Eden, and Citrate, the Vibers. So that's the story. <laughs> I'm privileged that she's my mother. I mean, uh, if I think about it, my mother, uh, growing up, didn't mention anything about the Holocaust. She really did protect us. And to this day, I still wonder why, but maybe I'm starting to understand why. Um, I, I just want to tell you in brief that you are the most incredible mother, and all of the kids, including Shirley and Harold, myself, um, and Mark, and Mark, Absolutely, and more. Um, really, really look up to you, and uh, we treasure you for all that you've done and for all that you will do. School, my mother's still working, almost full time for us. And, and, and driving. And driving. And driving. And uh, and now I want to just tell you something. I might take the kudos for coming here, but my wife was the one that actually pushed me to come here. She was she my she, 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 she told me, she said, listen, you have to go. You absolutely have to go. And here I am. And it was my pleasure to do this. And uh, may you have many, many more incredible birthdays and many, many more, more years till 120. Amen. to say. Um, Fanny was uh, for many for many years used to come and stay with my parents and I think about 10 years ago I was still single and she and I think my parents were really stressed. Every time I used to break up with a guy they'd have a list of friends they'd call do you have anybody to fix up Shira? Do you have anybody like like it was this charity case? And, <laughs> and then, and then uh, Fanny used to, she, she used to come to us, but this, uh, we're talking about an 80-year-old woman. She used to party so hard that, we sh uh, that she'd, she'd, come, she'd come back home, it would be like at least 11 or 12 at night. And I'd be like, you know, passing through my parents, picking something up, and we'd have like a late night coffee or tea. And one of the times she said to me, Shira, I don't care if you meet somebody, you don't meet somebody, just make sure you, o you make your own muzzle. And for me, that's funny. You make your own muzzle. You, you know, you decide what you want in life, strive to it. And for me, th whenever I think of funny, that's what I think of. That's for me, is your essence. <laughs> What Fanny epitomizes is family values. We, Lucille and my wife, Lucille and I live in London, and we had both our children in London. And whenever we had a simcha, there, you can be sure that Fanny was there. <laughs> she would not miss, she didn't miss our daughter's bat mitzvah, our son who's here, Bradley's bar mitzvah. We had a party. Or to celebrate our 60th wedding anniversary. Birthday. Uh, 60th birthday, birthday. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not, our 60th, not yet, not yet. Our 60th birthday, it was, it was a 1920s flapper. We had to get dressed up, fancy dress party, and Auntie Fanny was there. 
dressed up in the 1920s and doing the Charleston. That was five years ago. And then she came all the way to Israel, especially for our son Brandy and daughter Oriana's wedding. She will she she's an example to everybody of family values and for that we love her very, very dearly. Thank you. Thank you. Everybody spoke about family, but I will speak about friends. And I appreciate the friendship that we've had all these years ago. And uh, I love being with you. Your company is always terrific. You're always smiling. You've always got a good word for everybody. And it's my pleasure to be at your 90th birthday. And please, God, you carry on for many more years. Thank you. One other thing, we have to remember that 90 is five times high. Five times high. I never thought about it. Yeah. Five times Five lives. Finally, I'd like to say something. I think that you should be put in the Book of Guinness. I think that you are a model for family, friendship, and uh, the love for Israel, the, the, the sincerity, the inspiration. You're, you're just a, a woman of substance and a model for everybody, and we love you. And it's amazing how you keep in touch with us. And I mean, when I look back on the times that Fanny stayed with us, there wasn't a night that Fanny and we would have pajama parties every night. <laughs> we used to sit and, and, and chat until late hours of the night. And then we would sit and figure out what time is it in California. And then she would, she, I don't even think she slept, because after we would finish talking, she would then make her calls. And it was amazing. And it was, I, I felt like I had a, a girlfriend over. And, and uh, it's really inspiration for all of us. And I'm an old girl. Well. <laughs> well, I hope you appreciate how everybody learned English, just to bless you with your old <laughs> I appreciate everything. Every day, I've got lots to appreciate because my life's been good. I have no complaints. Five times. All I all I wish is to have good health for all of us. Good health, and we should have peace, and that will bring us all the happiness. We need. Amen. Amen. We have good health and peace. All the other things are not that much. So I believe it was 10 years ago that I had the fortune to speak at your 80th party at the backyard of Howard and Shirley's. Yeah. And uh, I had no idea at the time that I'd have this opportunity 10 years later to be in Israel celebrating the birthday with you. And, uh, and my wife and my baby, and grandma's great. Great, 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 a central part of it. Every week growing up, every Friday night we had Shabbat. That was because of you. Because you brought that into our family. You made that a priority. You kept me Jewish, you kept my brother Jewish, you kept Judaism, the love of Israel in the love of its family and so many other families and so many other friends. The gifts that you've given, the gift and what those are continue to mean for time memorial with my great my daughter, your great granddaughter, and so many more. How can we say thank you? So God willing many more years and 100, 110, 120 we'll be able to celebrate here, San Diego, wherever we'll be. Thank you very much. Two more. <laughs>
Yeah, yeah, so I just want to say something. The mold, this, this part's going to come out wonky. No, no, you don't have to film it. Uh, I think there are lo there's lots of family and friends sitting here. But Matt, I think he touched on something that we can't see in our immediate uh, surroundings at the moment. Matt spoke about how Fanny, uh, Fanny's influence got him to be where he is here. I can identify totally with that, but I think that it's not only the family and friends that, family, that Fanny has influenced and touched throughout her life. I think that all the work that she's done and all the subtle... Um, sorry. <laughs> all, 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 the, all, all the subtleties throughout life and the values that, fam, that, that Fanny has instilled in all the people, not only the friends and family that we have here, about life itself, about Israel, about Zionism, about being a good person, about family values. I think that you should be sure that not only in this environment, but spread all over the world amongst many people, you have a little seed of some inspiration of something that, you, that you've installed good and done a tikkun olam as you speak about throughout uh, 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 or amongst a whole lot of people and it's not just confined to those that are here or those friends and family are thinking about you I think it's, it's a lot larger and a lot more um, uh, extensive than, than, than what we can see here Thank you Coffee, cake? Uh, Olga!